roll with me on this here. Uh, ladies, don't, there, don't you know there's a lie that y'all tell that we get tired of hearing? We just get tired of hearing. Um, continue to roll with me because I'm going to bring it to you. That is when y'all say, just when I was about to bring those walls down, you do that. Stop saying that shit. Because you know damn well you wasn't finna do it. You know you wasn't finna do it. You know what you were banking on? You knew without a shadow of a doubt that eventually I was going to piss you off. And you waited me out to make me feel bad by saying that to make me believe that you were just about to bring those walls down. No, you wasn't. No, you wasn't. That's why I always call y'all. Y'all was about to do something. No, y'all wasn't going to do that. Y'all wasn't going to do that. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. If I had a dollar for every time I heard that, no, you wasn't. No, you wasn't. Y'all would sit there and say, a man will mess up. And you would say, okay, I need to see some, I need to see a considerable amount of time from you on this for me to feel secure and going there with you again, right? So this man is doing everything he needs to do to win that privilege back. But then you wait him out. Weeks, months, shoot, almost a year go by. Then eventually he messes up and you hit him with. I was just about to let that walk. No, the fuck you wasn't. No, you wasn't. No, you wasn't. Stop saying that. No, you, no, you wasn't. Because how is it always so convenient that you are always about to let the wall down the second I mess up? It, it, they're always right next door to each other. I'm the only man that has experienced it. I know I have, and I've been around. Talk to somebody that you can't out-slick a slickster. You can't talk that shit over my head. I'm Mr. Wow. 